Hi everyone, David Maley here. Today it's Saturday and it's a wonderful day to look at some data, right? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But regardless, this is what I use all the time, functions and, and little tricks and uh, things, whether it be in Excel, R, all kinds of different things in data science and data analysis on a daily basis for my job. So what I want to show you here is this is a formula that's going to use both the len, len, and the left functions combined from Excel and I'll show you why I'm going to use that. So this is a typical problem you would face in data analysis or data science where you have a uh, a data set right here and you have customer IDs but the problem is is that when you look at this there are different lengths right so I have some that are eight digits long and some that are seven digits long I want them all to be seven digits so you would normally say okay just take the right character off right and carry it on down you'd be good no because then you'd have seven and six I need them all to be seven so what I need to do is create a formula where I'm gonna take anything where it's set or a uh, eight length and I'm gonna or eight characters length and turn into seven but if it's already seven I wanna leave it at seven so if you look right here here is the exact form I just showed you earlier a little bit bigger and what we're doing is an if so if this it's going to do if length equals 8 then what it's going to do is it's going to say okay if it's 8 take the from the left position and what we're going to do is we're going to take the length and minus 1 so we're going to keep 7 digits and we're going to drop off the right 8 digit that's how this works if I put right here it would do the opposite and it'd take off the first one I want to do that and then it says if it's not 8 that's how the ifs work here is it does the second condition here or the second statement here which is just put a2 in there so leave it the same leave it what it originally was if it's seven and what you do is you just, then you just take that and you have this little plus right here you double click that and it carries it all the way down through your code and it automatically updates because I didn't put any dollar signs in there to the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one and so on so if you look here at this is the original data got cust ID and this one here is cust ID uh, what do we have here seven or something like that is our under our yeah cust ID underscore seven and the difference is is as you look at this is I've taken off the right two digits or the right digit single digit on each of these that has eight see that all you gotta do is look across and you see that that's basically what this formula did and by doing that now I have a uniform set now it depends on your rules so in this case I had customer IDs that had an extra that came from one data source that had an extra flag at the end so this flag here this one and this eight is not useful for the customer ID it's useful in another data set and another data warehouse to uh, differentiate between different types of stores but I don't need that in my end data so I drop off that's what I'm doing there is I'm dropping off that one digit on the right not on the left so that they're all correct now so in this case the other ones came from a different data set in a different data source or warehouse where it did not have that flag and did not need that flag so that's this is the way of aggregating the data to make it correct now so you can use this in other uh, scenarios whether it be customer IDs UPC IDs uh, product IDs which is a UPC ID it could be anything it could be service IDs so if you're providing services instead of a product and you have many different services you could use uh, you may have you know if you're a large company you may have uh, data with different customer IDs or maybe you had customer IDs when you were small entered in one way and now you've increased the number so instead of 0 through 1000 now it's 0 through 10,000 and that's an extra digit and maybe you you need for some weird reason to go and drop off a digit there or you have an extra flag like we have here it could be anything this is a great way to you uh, to introduce you to uh, compound functions or compound formulas uh, and it uses the len and left um, functions here in Excel and uh, let me show you again here if I bring it up that's the wrong one uh, let's see somewhere out here I have it there it is so there it is in larger uh, and you can just copy this or just type this in if parentheses len of the first uh, variable or the first field in that column 
equals, in this case, 8. It could be anything. It could be 10. could be 12. could be 20. It could be social security numbers you're dealing with and you added an extra digit there, right? Whatever it is. Then you've got comma left the A2 field, comma where it's length of A2 minus 1. That's what you want to be in the end. Or if it already is 8, you skip all the way to here and you say just leave it at A2. That's how that works. I hope you found this helpful. This is a really cool uh, formula. I use it pretty often when I'm dealing with da data from different data sets, especially from different companies that have entirely different uh, methods and reasonings for how they can, how they keep their number. So in one company, they may have a comp you know a customer ID that has one or two flags at the end of it, and there's a reason for that. Versus in another data warehouse, they don't have that. So I have to remove one or two digits or something like that off of the end. Uh, there might be an ID, an, an extra ID. So maybe to make it something more unique, they concatenated two fields of customer ID and uh, a UPC or a department. You know, a department could be 01, 02, 03. And maybe that's in there and I've got to remove that from the customer ID. This is how, the, this is how I would do that. If it was two digits, Instead, I would put minus two right here, where it's minus one. So, and let's say this was 10, it was 10 digits long. Uh, I wanna get anyone that's 10 to eight, I'd put 10 here and put negative two here. And it would work just as fine and just carry it on down through the code as I showed you before. So, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, again, it's a nice Saturday, wonderful day to be playing with data. Please check out my channel. Please subscribe and like and look at all the other uh, great videos I have on my channel for you to learn data science, data analysis, Excel, um, all kinds of cool stuff, all tricks, whatever you want to learn that has to do with that. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and like and have a great day.